In this presentation, we will take a look at recommendations for success within this course and within QuickBooks Online in general. We're going to be gearing these recommendations towards the using of the QuickBooks software. In other words, what types of QuickBooks software should we be using? How can we get access to the QuickBooks software? What are some different ways we can get access? What are the different price options as we think about getting access to QuickBooks? Should we be using our own company file? Or should we be using some other type of company file that we can use to work along with the practice problems? Now, in general, it would be most beneficial if we can get the practice, the file to be in alignment with the practice problems, same numbers in each. That'll be the easiest way to really learn the system. So how can we do that? What type of resources are available to us for access to QuickBooks Online? We're going to list them out first. And then we'll go into them in more detail. So we're going to think about when these types of resources might be applicable. So one is to use the free test drive. So QuickBooks has a test drive type version. We will discuss that shortly. The next is to use a free student version when applicable. So if you have access to a student version, even if you have another file, it might be best to use that because then you can use that student version to work through a practice problem step by step along with us. Ask accountant for the discount. Might be the case that if you work with an accountant, sometimes they have discounts with uh, QuickBooks, so you can ask them about that. And you can also take advantage of and use a 30-day discount period when applicable. Oftentimes, uh, Intuit, the owner of QuickBooks, like other uh, institutions trying to sell something, will give a 30-day discounted period. You can take advantage of that 30-day discounted period in order to complete the course and learn the information. So let's go into these in more detail. First, use the free test drive. So QuickBooks offers a free test drive, which is basically a mock uh, company that we can go in and we can actually practice navigating through. That's actually what we will start doing in the course. So when we first start the course, we will work with the free uh, test drive version rather than starting a new company file for multiple different reasons. One, our main goal is to, is to navigate through, to get through uh, the information in the, in the QuickBooks file, how to get to different locations within it. It's very nice to be able to do that, to have the same kind of numbers on our screen as uh, your screen, as you navigate through that information as well. Not required, so you could use your own company file, but it's nice. And the other reason is we definitely want to have data within the QuickBooks file when we do this navigation. If we're looking at reports and things like that, it's not very fun if there's no data in the system. So the test file will have some data and hopefully that data will match up too. So as we navigate, we'll have the same numbers and same information. Therefore, for the first part of the course, you probably do want to use the free test drive file rather than your file. It'll also make it so you're not gonna do anything to your uh, company file if you have a separate company file uh, that would mess up the data in any way. Although the first part of the course, all we're doing is navigating. We're not doing data input until the second part of the course. And therefore, you could probably navigate with your own company file and uh, be okay with that. But if you want to see the same numbers, then you can use the free test drive version. And that's what we will start off with. Best way to get there is really to do some type of search. Pick your favorite browser and search for QuickBooks Online Test Drive. You can also go to this URL. I've searched it in Google here. So if you just did a Google search for the QuickBooks Online test drive, it would look something like this. You'd have the test drive. Then you have to verify that uh, you're not a computer. You're going to say, I'm not a robot. And then we're going to go ahead and continue. And that's how you would access the test drive file. So it's called uh, Craig's Design and Landscaping Services. And we will get back into this later. This is basically wh where we will start to navigate through something that already has data in it. The second half of the course, however, we're going to start a new company file from scratch and we're going to have to go into another QuickBooks file in order to do that process. Your next option is to use the free student version when applicable. So if you're looking for software, if you need software to help you to go through this process and you don't want to purchase the software just to uh, go through this course, you can start off, we will start off with the free test drive version. You'll be okay in the navigation part of the course. Second half of the course, we're going to start a new company file. So we would really like to have our own company file at that point in time. If you have a separate business file, it's still not ideal because we want to basically put that data input from start to finish, setting up a new company file and entering data within it. And you can't really do that if you already have data in your company file because we want to practice the data input process in different types of scenario. So you really would like to set up another a clean uh, QuickBooks file. One way you might be able to do that is if you are a student at, at an accredited university, 
you may be able to get a free version of QuickBooks, a temporary version of QuickBooks that you can use, which would be perfect for this kind of situation. So if you are a student or, or an instructor and you have access to this, it's a great resource. I highly recommend taking advantage of that. So here is the Intuit website and you can go and you can see if you would qualify for uh, the student version, possibly would qualify if a student or an instructor. So that would be a, a great tool to look into. The, the next recommendation is to ask your accountant for a discount. So even if you're doing your own bookkeeping, you may have a CPA firm that helps you with taxes or something like that. And they may have some resources to give you a, a discounted price on QuickBooks Online. So I would lay out exactly what you're using it for when you ask that question, because again, what we're really looking for here is a clean QuickBooks file that you can use just for the course that doesn't have data in it already for the second half of the course where you would like to practice starting a new company file, entering the mock information along with the data that we will be putting in in process. The first half of the course, we will be using uh, the test file that will already have data in it. So you're basically covered on that course. And as far as your business file, if you have a business file that already has data in it, you'd like to keep that separate because you don't want to practice putting data input into your actual company data file. So for the second half of the course, you'd really like to get, you know, a clean QuickBooks file with nothing in it that you could basically set up and practice putting in the starting information all the way through the, the data input. So that's what you, you want to, you know, kind of make that clear when you're discussing that option to your uh, CPA. And don't worry about if you're, if you're talking about a tax CPA or something like that and you're doing some of the bookkeeping, usually the, the CPA, if they're doing tax stuff at the end of the year, really would appreciate uh, someone taking up the, the bookkeeping so that they can focus more on, you know, the tax preparation type of thing. So it could be, uh, you know, a good arrangement if, if, if you're thinking, well, well they're going to think that I'm going to take the work away from them. Well, that's, it might be something that they would, they would be happy to, to have if, uh, you know, that they, they could do the tax information stuff and then you pick up the bookkeeping information so it could be well worth it for them to to have their some of their clients you know do more of the bookkeeping stuff and be a support to them as that in that process so then we have the use the 30-day discount period when applicable so oftentimes into it like like other types of vendors will provide some type of discount at the beginning possibly even a free 30-day trial so what you want to do then is maximize that 30 days to learn the software. How do you maximize the 30 days? Well, what you want to do is you want to, you want to start off with the free version because that's what we will do to maximize you know, your ability to use the free version when we navigate. When we get to the second half of the course where we actually start a new QuickBooks file and then want to do data input in it, that's when you want to say, okay, maybe I should purchase the 30-day free trial uh, even if you already have a QuickBooks file, you, you might because you don't want to you don't want to overwrite or put any data input into your into your current company file. Therefore, you might want to say I'll set up a 30 day free trial or a 30 day trial, whatever the discount is that they are offering, and then set up the new company file, enter the fresh data into the new company file for that 30 days, and then just make sure that they cancel it at the end of the 30 days. Now, obviously, to do this. You would need to set up the credit card. They'd have your information. So to, to do this, you would want to make sure that you complete the thing, uh, the course within the 30 days and then cancel uh, the subscription within that 30 day time period. So if I currently go to the QuickBooks Online course, then I, I note here they say, some, they say something like they have a free, uh, free trial for 30 days. So if you can get a free trial for 30 days, that would be great. Even if you can get a discount for 30 days, that would be enough if you were able to basically focus on the second half of the course and really, you know, put your time into the course and, and be able to complete it within the 30 day time period.